Hey guys, Dan Pace Tutorials here, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to clone yourself in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So in the end, this is what my cloning video looked like. Yep, two of me. I cloned myself, and I'm happy now, because now they're two of me. Anyway, first off, you're going to need your um, track. There's my, I'm sitting on one side in one track part, and then I'm on the other side. Now, here's what we got to do. Now, you want to scrub through if you're going to be sitting down on the couch and waving. scrub right there press S and delete that so then so far we have he just sitting there no biggie and then we come to where he waves then when he looks back press S and then scrub through until beginning of when I walk in but we're still going to need this footage because this is the blank footage. So we can scrub through until he disappears. And S, and then delete that footage. So now this footage right here is just a normal, steady footage looking over at the couch there. Now, the, um, to make a cloning video, you're going to have to make sure the lighting levels are the same. And you have to record this in one shot, and so it doesn't get all messed up. And because you might move the tripod or camera or something, best to have the camera as still as possible. You can use Sony stabilization if you need to. But go through one shot, one shot of you in one area, then a blank shot, and then another shot of the other person. And let's scrub through until he's done waving. So he gets up right there, and we're gonna delete that footage and keep these two. Um, right here are just standard. Now let's see. We gotta add a new video track and move this on top. Now the audio doesn't matter if it goes over. But uh oh, the person—he's in the way. Of my other person. Well, here's what we gotta do. Down here is event pan crop, and we have to have not. We're not gonna use positioning, but we're gonna go to mask and check that in. And now click anchor creation tool if it's not already selected. And now we want to select right between the couch and the remote, and we want to select all the way out. And let's move this out just in case so we can get all the footage we can and straighten it out as possible as we can. So there, it's our footage right there. But I've already done one thing wrong that you don't want to do. You want to make sure it starts at the first keyframe. So we got to delete that first keyframe. And then you want to position it. I'm going outside the thing because I can get all the footage and there now we have the correct footage so we just get rid of that and now on to the other footage you also had to event pan crop that too so you go basically do the same thing position mask first keyframe but this time you want to go on the other side make sure you start that it, it goes up right in the middle of where you did your previous one and then there but uh oh it's messed up right there fix it by just dragging it over a bit and then we can exit out but there's a slight color mess up right there start there but then you can obviously see it's messed up so it's there's an easy way to fix that but now as you can see there are two of me now 
I'm gonna drag the draft down the quarter so it can run faster. There. And I want them to wave at both the same time. So, move over until he turns. Let's see. There they go, they both wave at each other. Great. And now, there we go. But we can't, as you can see, there is nothing there at the beginning. You can either use one of these footage, um, stock footages we used, or you can just drag it out if there's nothing even there. So, let's see. There's no one in there during that little gap, so it works out. And there, you have your clones. But, we're not done yet. Put this back to full preview. We still have to fix the mess up right there. Part of the remote is shifted up, and the color is messed up right there. So we gotta fix that. First keyframe, event pan crop, and this time, you gotta make sh sure feather type is set to both, and then just type in 10%. And then same thing with the other footage. But if it's not available to you, just click the one line. And then type both and 10%. And there you go. It has been feathered away to look like the, the remote is now in one piece, not shifted up. And the shadowing looks natural. So if we watch it, if you've done it correctly, it will stay there throughout the entire video. Shadows are a big part of clones. And now if you didn't need to use this excess footage, you can just delete it, and there you go. You pretty much have your clone. And I will show you what that clone video looked like again. And here you go. Yes, so I hope this helped you out. Now you can go brag to your friends that you've cloned yourself. And if they don't believe you, you can just show them the footage. So, I hope this tutorial helped you out for ma making movies or bragging your friends that you can make clones. Um, so, please subscribe, like this video. Not dislike, like. Share on Facebook and Twitter, anything you have, and comment. So, see you guys. Bye. Quick thing, if you're making your clones talk to each other, just drag one of the audio layers onto one audio track and then the other onto another.